moving a design from GCAD Plus into SketchUp to build a 3D model of a design is a relatively straightforward process. All you need to do is click File and go to the DXF tools and GCAD Plus DXF out. And I'm putting the resultant file, you can see I'm just rehearsing it, I'll call it Side Garden. Well, in fact, we'll call it Side Garden 5. This is a design for a space wrapping around the building, and we'll click Save. That outputs the file into a particular folder that I've set up where I'm going to use the free little utility Tiga File Convert and turn it from a DXF file into a DWG file, and then I'm going to bring it into SketchUp. Here we have the Tiga file converter. So I've set up a, a folder where I put the DXF file exported from GCAD Plus. I put it in a folder called GCAD Plus DXF output. And for, for another folder where I want to put my DWG file, my converted file, I've created a folder for it. In this file converter, you specify the type of file coming in, which is DXF. And I recommend using AutoCAD 2007 DWG. You can see there is quite a long list of different versions of AutoCAD that are supported, but we find 2007 works well in the SketchUp 7 environment, which is what I'm going to use now. You'd probably recommend different file versions for different versions of SketchUp. So we'll click Start converted files are already there so I'm going to overwrite them but it will add the new one that we've just put in there. So now I'm going to swing from this little file converter and we'll have a on the tools drop down menu we'll have an option to click on that and start the file converter for you provided you've downloaded and installed it. Well here we are in the SketchUp environment and to import this base information which will be accurate and to size. We simply say import and side garden 5 was the DWG file we just created and it's being brought in and we pick close and if we go to our plan view and I'll roll out a little you can see that all the information that we brought from GK Plus is now in the SketchUp environment. At this point, it's our usual practice to select the block that's been placed and just explode it and click away from there. Now, I always begin by building the geometry and for that, to make things a lot, lot easier, we'll pick up the layers tab uh, layer set, take off the construction layer, the shadow layer, the plant symbol layer, and I'll close the layers window and you can see the base geometry is now there. So now it's quite a simple matter to build the 3D model. If we pick, for example, the rectangle tool, we just click and click, and then we can move down here, click and click. I'm just placing rectangles where I need them to build the 3D geometry. I'm sure you are much more skilled than me at using SketchUp, but I always take the trouble to put a separate little rectangle over windows that helps me put the glazing in position a, a little easier. So let's zoom extents again and we'll just do the final little rectangle here. It's a little bit tricky this one and we're there and in it goes. So the, the hard geometry if you like is there let's just swing to a perspective view and concentrate our attention just for the moment on this uh, the design calls for some cut slabs uh, irregularly flagstones in effect so if i take the line tool and just click on the edges of those we should be able to build the surface on those. Now this, that one is not working, nor is that one. Have I picked the right tool? Silly me, I didn't pick the correct tool. 
there we go see how easy that is when you pick the correct tool it's a comparatively simple matter to close those flagstones and now let's spin it around again and we can build our 3D geometry relatively easily to do a wall it would just be a matter of picking the push pull tool pull the wall up you can type a value here so it's 2100 high and the wall is now in position we could push pull this up imagine that the slabs are you can go under they're embedded below the ground and they might be uh, what 70 mil thick slabs so one slab is in and I'm sure you know how to to apply surfaces and do all sorts of rendering let's just fix pick this one up with its push pull tool come across there and there's our walls in position we might even be able to confidently pick the glazing which will go into position relatively easily and I could move that up but this is not the point to have a lesson in how do you sketch up uh, and I'm, as I said I'm sure you can manage it better than I but under we go back to our layers now we might want to go to the 3d warehouse that comes with SketchUp and just bring in some 3d plants in order to place them in the same position that we had them in the 2d plan just turn on your plant symbols so we can go searching for um, a deciduous tree symbol some ground cover symbols and grass symbols and others these can just be placed in position you might do that best by returning to this view and it's just a matter of dragging and putting um, symbols in position to create the sort of feel you want the building the um, square or well not square some of them are square the paving bricks building this um, seating area uh, because the geometry is all always also is already sorry there that helps you build the geometry as well uh, without too much effort so there's a brief little uh, pass or path through how you build 3d geometry based on a 2d plan from gcad plus